Hungry and displaced, these children are receiving food handouts. All 2.3 million people in Gaza are suffering a deliberate famine due to Israel's use of starvation as a weapon of war. Less than a fifth of eight trucks are getting thrown to Gaza, which used to receive more than 500 truckloads every day because more and more are being stopped at the border crossings by Israel. The basic necessities of life are totally absent in our camp, as well as all other refugee camps in Gaza, from water to food, let alone baby milk. We hear about aid being delivered, yet quantities are scant and their whereabouts are unknown. Charities say that they fear running out of food as more people arrive in Rafah, on top of the more than 1.3 million people who are already there. And the prices of food and water only increases as it becomes less available. People's need for food is enormous. Food is beginning to completely run out in the northern Gaza Strip. Aid convoys have not entered northern Gaza at all. In northern Gaza, these people are collecting what they can from the ground, essentially herbs and weeds. People are resorting to eating grass and animal feed to survive. I'm trying to collect some of these wild plants to feed my children. We have nothing else, rice, flour or bread. This is what we have been living on for months. I'm risking my life by being here. The UN says that children under five are at high risk of severe malnutrition, and this can cause long-term damage to their growth. An Israeli airstrike in a civilian vehicle in Gaza City has killed at least six people. The attack happened on Al Jala Street. Gaza health officials say nearly 29,000 Palestinians have been killed since the war began on October 7. In the occupied West Bank, Israeli forces have conducted a raid in the city of Kalkilia and opened fire on a car. <laughs> Palestinian media is reporting that troops prevented an ambulance from reaching the scene of the shooting. The deliberate obstruction of ambulance movements has been documented by rights groups in the past. And a convoy of Israeli armoured vehicles are in the town of Aboud near Ramallah as well. On Wednesday, a raid was conducted in central Ramallah where two people were injured. Nearly 400 Palestinians have been killed in the occupied West Bank since October 7. Families of Israeli captives are threatening to storm the Ministry of Defense in Tel Aviv. They're demanding a meeting with politicians and that the government restart negotiations with Hamas. It comes after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu decided to recall Israel's delegation from talks in Cairo. Relatives of the captives say the government is sacrificing their loved ones.